Welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through the topic natural numbers. And for this lesson, we'll be looking at place values of numbers. So we'll start by looking at the meaning of place values. When you talk about place value, what does it mean? Uh, we look at the place values of whole numbers. We look at the place values of decimal numbers. And then after that, we're able to give you uh, some questions at the end of the session to help you with gauging your understanding of the concept. So what does it mean when you talk about place values? When you talk about the place value of a, of a digit within a given number, what does it mean in simple terms? So this simply means the position of that particular digit in the given number. For example, if you have 2, 4, 7, 8, this is a number. Maybe it can be read as 2,478. So we have a number of digits within this given number starting from 2. We have 4 there, we have 7, we have 8. So we have all those digits. They occupy different positions within that given number. So that is how we need to de determine the, the, the position of the given digits. Because you realize 2, 4, 7, and 8, they occupy different positions. And uh, the di different positions are supposed to be described differently. So how do you determine them? Or how do you, do you highlight the differences between their positions? So we use this term place value. And there are terminologies that we use to describe that position, as you're going to see as we continue. So we have words used to describe the position of uh, digits. Uh, within a given number, what we're basically calling the place value. And the words are like ones, we have tens, we have thousands, we have tens, and many, 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 many others that we're going to see. So uh, the, the, the term that we use, for example, ones, tens, thousands, tens, and so on and so forth, will, will be determined by the position of that digit in the given number. But we're going to see uh, that as we continue with, with the lesson. So let's look at this number. We have the number 345,678,901. It has about nine digits. And you want to see how we can describe the positions of these digits within this given number. So this table here is just a guideline to help us with this description of, of, of the place values. Uh, of course, you can still do it without necessarily doing the table, but we have just used this table to help us illustrate what you're supposed to do as you get the less values of digits within the given number. So the number is here. Uh, we have uh, 345,678,901. So the, the number has digits ranging from 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 1. So as I had mentioned earlier, we are supposed to describe the positions of these digits, you know, and basically what you're calling the place value. So the first thing I want to, to, to want you to take note of is that when you are describing the positions of digits, and especially a whole number, remember you said you are supposed to start by looking at the place values of digits within a whole number like this one here, and then we're also going to we are going we are going to look at also the place values of digits within a decimal like 24.024 you know if you're given a, a number like this one here how do you describe the positions of digits within that given number so we have just started with this one here that is a whole number and for whole numbers as you describe the positions of digits you start from the farthest right end on the right you know you start from farthest end on the right moving all the way to the to the left hand side so we start from the farthest end to the right you know this side here and then we move to the left hand side so right left we move from right to the left so this is the digit that we're supposed to describe its place value first then this then this then this so we start with one but then Instead of calling it once, you add S at the end. So you say once. So all the digits along this line, we'll be calling them digits in the once position. Once, digits, once. And then, secondly, you add zero here. So you just keep adding one more zero 
as you continue. So if you add 0, you'll be calling it 10. But now you add S at the end, so you call it tens. Tens. No, the digits along this line will be called tens. Then you have, uh, you add another 0 here. It will be 100. So you, write, you read it as hundreds. The digits along that line are supposed to be hundreds digits, you know. And then if you add, so you keep adding zeros. You need you see, we, 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 we gave words that was that the terms that are supposed to be used in describing the positions of these digits. So you just need to remember this is an endless process that you can do it and do it and do it. You add one more zero, this will be ten thousands. See, like the digit seven here. So ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. That means you've added three more zeros, and then you add two more will be you see now we'll be talking of hundred thousands that is digit six if you add one more zero so six it will be millions if you add another one ten millions so that is endless you can continue and continue and continue and take note of what i've said you start with ones but ones will be the digits on the farthest end to the right and then you proceed with that process as you move to the left hand side so right and then you move to the left hand side so we have one tens hundreds thousands ten thousands hundred thousands millions ten millions and the process can continue and continue and continue endlessly so that is how we do it so let's see what happens now when you have a decimal number like uh 900 and uh 9812.098765 so the first thing that you're supposed to do is to identify the the decimal point position so you identify the decimal point position that is the first thing that you do that is if you have a decimal number you first of all identify the decimal point position then what now you need to observe is that as you move to the right hand side the place values are described differently as compared to when you're moving to the left hand side so the reference number or the reference digit in this case will always be the digit the first digit to the to the left of the decimal point remember this is our decimal point then we have the first digit on the left hand side of the decimal point so this becomes like the reference so you can either move to the right hand side or you move to the left hand side of this digit so as you move to the left hand side we treat the digits the same way you know we did it previously when you are when when dealing with whole numbers so you're going to do this is uh ones then you go to tens hundreds so you see we have one already so just add tens and remember we are starting with ones ones is the reference here it's the reference digit then now as you move to the left hand side you have one so you add one zero it becomes tens hundreds thousands you see so that is as you move to the left hand side now as you move to the right hand side now moving to the right hand side now we have one already is, is the reference. We already have it at the center here. We already have one here. So ones. Then now moving to the right hand side, we now divide by 10. So we talk of tens. Remember that is past the decimal point. So we talk of tens, then hundreds, then thousands. Then so these ones on the right hand side. They end in T H S. So they are read as tss, tss. so we talk of hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on and so forth. So we have the first one here is tens, five is hundreds, and this is thousands and ten thousands. So THS here is interpreted to mean 1 over. So if you want to get the 
uh, I know later on we will be looking at the total value, the value of that digit now. Remember here we are describing the position. Then it will be value will be 5 over 100. That is the value of that digit within the given number. Of course, we are going to discuss that in the next video. So basically that is how you get the positions of digits within a given number. And uh, what you are basically calling the place values of digits. So you can be asked to state the place value of digit 5, for example. Example here, 6, then 5 would be somewhere here. So how do you get the place value of that digit 5? So we have 10,000. After that, we'll have 100,000. So we have 1. Remember now we are moving to the right. So tenths is 3 here. Then hundreds is 5. Then thousands is 1. Then ten thousands, 6. And then now 5 here. You add another zero, it will be hundred thousands. Yes, so the place value of digit five is hundred, hundred thousands. So that is how you basically uh, arrive at the place values of digits when you are given a number and then you are asked the place value of a particular digit. Then that is how you go about it. So you can be given a number like maybe 24678.04924. So this is what you will do, you know. You know, maybe this could be number one, and this could be number two. So this is what you will do. So you, you know the first digit on the left hand side of the decimal point, this one is, is ones, then tens, hundreds, thousands, hundred thousands. Then now zero here is tens. Remember, this is the reference digit. So ones, then tens, hundreds, thousands, see? Ten thousands, hundred thousands. Remember, as we move to the right from the decimal point, there we start from tens, okay, then hundreds. But remember, THS rule, THS. You know that the the, the 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 terms are always ending in in a THS. So tens, hundreds, you know, and so on, and so forth. So in, in exams or tests that you do, mostly you can be given, uh, you know, you can just be given a number like 24789, then you are asked to, to state the place value of a particular digit like 7. So you just need to describe the position, like a whole number we said you start from the farthest end of the right, so ones, tens, hundreds. So that one is just read as hundreds and so on, you see. So in exams or in tests, majorly you can be asked to state the place value of a particular digit like nine, you know, nine here, for example. So you just write nine place value is, is ones, you see? Or maybe four here, you see? So four, what is the place value of digit four? So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So you just state, thousands so that is basically how you answer questions when you are asked similar questions in exams or when you're doing a particular test and such a question arises that is basically how you need to go about it so we have a assignment here that you're supposed to attempt so uh if you get time do attempt and post the the, the responses on the comment section you'll be able to look at it and after which you'll be able to give feedback accordingly otherwise that marks the end of this session Bye.